Hello guys, welcome to my video. My name is Jay. And for this video, I want to show you guys how to import JSON file into a SQL Server database. Before we begin, uh, just make sure that you must use SQL Server 2016. And since we're using some of the new functionality that is introduced in SQL Server 2016 that deal with JSON files. First, we need some data. Let me give you guys this website that I use to generate uh, the JSON file. JSON records generator. So I'm going to call this JSON generator website. And here's the website. It's www.json-generator.com. Let me drag the website here. And this is what the interface looks like. If you go to help, and it gives you the like what functionalities and the fields that are available you can use to generate some dummy data. And for my video, I want to generate name based on the first name and the last name and gender. Let's see, it should be right here. Gender, company, this company comments right here, and the email. Yeah, feel free to add additional fields if you want to, like country, state, city, street. But for this video, I want to make things a little bit easy. Let me close this. And here's my script to generate my dumb data. I'll be putting this script in my description below. So you don't have to merely write the script. Then you just want to click on generate. You have several options. You can upload this JSON list to a server, or you can copy everything manually, or you can download as a JSON file. And for this video, I want to download uh, this JSON list to a JSON file. And save. So I'm going to. So I'm just going to. Copy paste my uh, text folder, and I'm going to name this as a simple, simple JSON. And let me open the file, you guys, so you guys know what the JSON file looks like. And here's my JSON file. I'm going to use Notepad++, and here's the JSON script. So here's our employee details, which are roots, <coughs> and employee, and within employee, we have name, gender, company, email. Okay. Let me close this. Let me move the browser somehow. Before we import the uh, the JSON file into SQL Server database. Uh, we also need to know what fields we have in the hierarchy. Uh, since I didn't know uh, my fields, now I'm just going to go in the create table. And I'm going to call this table employee details. <coughs> so if I create a table, I'm going to make sure that the employee details tables does not exist in my database. And if it does, then I'm going to uh, drop the table. You know, so I want to use, I want to create a, actually I want to create a table uh, under my, just my JJ database. And here's the script to create an employee details table. You're going to have four fields. I'm going to have the name field. And I'm just going to set everything to now. Just make a, a easier. And company. And email. Please. 
So name, gender, company, email. All right. Okay. And let's go and create the table. Let me refresh my database. And here's my employee details table. All right. Okay, thanks. So I'm going to create a new script. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable. And I'm going to declare this variable as Fartra uh, with the max characters. And then I want to use the select statement to select my variable. And, <clears throat> and the statement is so to grab the JSON file from your uh, from your for the directory, so first you will need to know the, the file path. So you hold the shift key, and you're going to see there's a new option called copy as path. And grab that, and just copy paste into your open room row set statement. But before you do that, you want to tap the, the keyword bulk, and paste the file path. Ready, double quotation. I'm going to use single blob. So I'm going to name this, uh, this requisite of this table as, uh, as JSON. And I'm going to name the columns both column. Let me just run this. Okay. And that seems to work fine. So now if we try to select the employee details variable. And here's the JSON input. So we have employees detail, which is the root, which is our variable name. And employee, and the employee web name gender, company, and email. So let me put this here. <clears throat> so based on your uh, JSON file format, you might have to use different, let me see, I forgot what this is. Since my files are uh, just very simple binary file, and I, I know that I can just use single blob as my data type. I'm going to name this as a, uh, employee details. Okay, now we have a uh, color name. So now we're at the stage where we're actually going to take the JSON file uh, into our employee details table. <clears throat> so I don't need this anymore. Let me just comment this out. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check uh, whether or not if my JSON file is valid. Uh, details. So it's valid. And print JSON file is valid. Else. I'm going to see that print JSON file is invalid. <clears throat> so if JSON file is valid, then we want to uh, take the JSON file and put them into a, into our employees details table. To employee details and to select some um, open JSON. And since this is a JSON file, I want to open so in SQL Server 2016, there's a, a new functionality that is called Open JSON. Meaning, just you can 
I'm just going to open a JSON file like a table. Details. And dollar sign, which means in the root. Employee details. Figure out later. And, okay, do you want to subsidify our fields? So the name field job. In here the, the field of the from the, the JSON file. So if I take the the list in here the a field name. So name, gender, company, email. If we do a select statement from employee details table, and over here is our 1000 records that I will just insert from the JSON file. We just download it. I think JSON file is going to be a lot more popular in the future just because uh, with the new Python big data and um, artificial intelligence. I think it's going to be a lot more common you know, in the next many years, actually. Yeah, I'm actually glad that Microsoft is actually investing their time and money uh, into you know, this additional functionality that uh, dealing with big data as well as you know, some other new technology. Again, I hope you guys found this video useful. And please give me a like if you like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.